Cougars and Vandals on the border battle. Reggie Moore missing another game with that injured wrist. WSU stepped up without him, though. D'Angelo Castro with one of his four blocks on one end. And Clay Thompson with the triple at the other. Cougs up 17-2 out of the gate. But Jeff Ledbetter leads the Vandals back with a three ball of his own. That cut the Cougars lead to just seven. Cougar Nation is really excited about Faisal Aiden. And here's why. He's going to throw down. One hand on the break. That was one of the only things we haven't seen from him so far. Ledbetter not letting the Vandals go away as he hits the ridiculous off-balance three. He had 18. Idaho gets back within two, but the Cougs pull away. Patrick Simon, the freshman from Ephrata, with three of his 12 points on the evening. And Aiden ices it with the long jumper here. He poured in a game-high 26 points on 10 of 16 shooting as the Cougs beat the Vandals for the eighth straight time, 88-71. Here's Don Verlin and Ken Bone afterwards. I didn't think that we did the things we needed to do to win, and we're all competitors, and we all expected to come in here and play better than we did. And uh, so I'm disappointed in the outcome of the game. They, they shut it back down to two or three, I think it was, and and uh, we came right back. And last year there were games where we did not deal with that type of adversity very well. So it's a step in the right direction.